Hi, my name is Bradford Folta, and I work for Honey Badger Analytics, and I'm the owner operator of Honey Badger Analytics. We cover a plethora of, not to use that word, but we cover a plethora of uh, different data sources, different data functions, different data visualizations, uh, and helping customers, uh, essentially as the Virgil to the Dante, lead them through data hell to data purgatory to data paradise. Uh, we do this because we have a full grasp of, on like the Esri side, an understanding of what it takes to get data from the start to the end and move it all the way through, um, asking all the right questions to make sure we hit as few bumps as possible along the way. Honey Badger Analytics is involved with digital twins because we help make it a reality for our customers. We help with the data collection that gets them their 3D point clouds, their 3D meshes, their photogrammetry, um, GPS data collection, you name it, and get it into a system that they can utilize in the full twin spirit where they're able to create, if not a near real time uh, organization or functionality, but in at least the last month or two, based on how often they update it. So the type of customers Honey Badger Analytics serves is, it, well, I could never tell you a specific type because there's a multitude of types. Uh, we've served everything from indigenous, indigenous nations, like the Mohawk tribe, um, out in North New York, we've worked with municipalities, we've worked with businesses, you name it. Anyone who wants to make their data you know, visualized and bring it to life as far as maps or even in the 3D, we work with because we help them you know, foster that process all the way through. And we have this very you know, ingrained thought pro or well, not even thought process, more of this ingrained understanding that we're the experts in the geographic information systems. We're the experts in the data collection technology. You utilize us for our expertise. We let you be the experts in your field and we mesh together and merge together to make your field more successful for you by making things that are more antiquated or just you know, general paperwork that you know, don't need to do anymore disappear by using current uh, systems and automation. At Honey Badger, we aim to give our customers everything they need to make their world into kind of an AR state without having to go the full blown goggles and everything else with it. Um, in that our use cases are specific to our users because if I have a water district person who wants to be able to map a pipe that starts in their office and goes all the way to their water tower, we wanna get that and set up for them in the way that they need it. Um, and the way they want to see it because it makes the most sense to them. And if that means, you know, tracking depths underground and then tracking depths above ground and so on and so forth, we'll make it happen. In the same case with verticals like um, indoor mapping and modeling, we can do the same thing and actually show, you know, utilities and everything in the wall. That way, uh, not only can the student, say, at a university, navigate to a classroom by simply using a mobile app, but they can also, the, the utilities folks can actually map and figure out where stuff is in the walls, from pipes to fiber to you name it, um, giving everyone access to the same model, but in just very different aspects. So covering a multitude of use cases, depending on what the client's needs are. So I joined the Digital Twin Consortium because it's right up our alley. That's what we're aiming for here at Honey Badger Analytics. And um, the benefit uh, I immediately saw for it is it opened up my eyes to other things that other people consider as part of the digital twin market, things that I would never even think about, uh, lumber industry for one of them. Um, I was like, they have a definitely a vertical for tracking lumber, but I don't understand a vertical for you know building houses and everything unless they were actually applying it to a city. Um, but then again, you know, I'm not the one to decide. <laughs> I don't set the digital twin rules. 